So the third stage of life ends with the laughing child. You even hint at a fourth stage called the laughing lion. What is the significance of laughter in these final forms? Well, there are two types of laughter, the laughter of the herd and the laughter of the height. Okay, so what is the laughter of the herd? Laughter of the herd is an instinct to conform. Life requires alert tension to outcomes and a plasticity to adjust to these situations. An unyielding mentality is mocked with the weapon of laughter by society that's not normal to the overall societal habits because it can elicit fear. Okay, so the herd will naturally laugh at creative life ascending individuals and ideas. Even odd and simply wacky expressions and situations create humor. The herd relieves itself with laughter in order to feel safe and confirmed. Comedy and laughter starts with bizarre ideas, actions, and characters that rattle the mind with images that don't fit the pattern. To me, this could be good or bad, it just depends. So what is the laughter of the height then? Laughter of the height is embracing internal recurrence, so affirming internal recurrence is overcoming the self. One now can make a perfectly joyous existence that's echoed forever by saying yes to life despite all the suffering it entails. So self-creation is harmonizing a unique style of one's thoughts, actions, and desires with the power to resolve internal and external conflicts. If this is true, again, why is laughter a part of this affirmation? The mere attention and spirit of playfulness in every changing moment in life should elicit laughter because curious jest is joy of the height. The laughing lion shall emerge from laughing at itself to obtain liberation for new creation. So this laughing lion could be the legendary fourth metamorphosis of the self. Learning to laugh more could physiologically aid us to create ourselves and our values. Embracing internal recurrence allows one to laugh the laughter of the height. This freedom creates a triumphant laugh of being victorious and comedically mocking the tragic seriousness of existence by relieving suffering. Joyful wisdom is the result of becoming conscious to the comedy of existence. Obtaining laughter of the height gives one the ability to laugh at all tragedies. Life is the ultimate joke. Man invented laughter to relieve themselves of life's suffering. Rejecting absolutes and having a flexible mind floods a sense of humor. This seems to capture a type of agnostic outlook. Realizing self-creation is constant and that there is no final goal exhibits a humorous outlook on life. Laughter of the height is the unlimited freedom of the self to create. An over-serious attitude halts the evolution of one's consciousness. One must realize the absurdity of existence. Deep suffering produces a good sense of humor. Immense tragedy births comedy. So the Joker from Batman is a great example of this in an extreme case. The tragic and the comic are interconnected like yin and yang. The laughing child understands everything we ever wanted is right here in this moment. They see that the sun is out. They feel the rays beat down. This feeling is all it needs to create and laugh.